Hello there, people. Today we have our model, Molly. Everyone who's been following me knows her by now. Uh, we're gonna do a makeup tutorial today, and I thought um, we were going to do like open her eyes up when you have darker eyes. We're gonna do like a bright, uh, smoky eye, uh, but like not trying to keep the eyes open and like big and it's especially for brown eyes today let's go rule number one moisture we're gonna put on a bunch of moisture here you always want to try to moisturize your face before you put on makeup so you don't like it's not like flaky or anything giving it a little massage because it will help with blood flow too and it will give you a nice like blood circulation and a nice little glow let's hop into it we're gonna start with the eyes and uh i'm gonna use my favorite palette the toasted from tarte palette and it's like all these um browns and like fiery, like a little bit rustic colors. And this literally goes with any eye color. And I've said it before, like I use this all the time on myself and it makes blue eyes pop, it makes green eyes pop, it makes dark eyes brown pop. eyes pop. Everything just pops with this one. We're gonna start with base, uh, just a s'mores here. And then, so we're gonna do more like of a party makeup because the weekend is coming up. And you're gonna start with just a base that's like the same color as our own skin. Do the warmth right here. I'm gonna do the other side. Once you've done that, we're gonna do another brush. A little bit bigger. Should we do like a little bit sparkle? Or, yeah? Whatever you so want. So let's do a little bit sparkle for the weekend. So we're gonna do crackle. It's uh, kind of dark, but it has a little bit of shimmer in it. There we go. Blend all of that together, kind of, the edges. And then I'm gonna do the flame, this one, with my finger. I'm gonna do that in the middle here. There we go. And I'm gonna do a little bit more of this one, the fire side. And just keep that dark on the edge. Okay, look. So now we want to keep the eyes open. I have this uh, matte eye pencil and it's kind of like a yellow tone to it. I'm going to do this in the inside of the waterline, on the lower waterline. This will open up your eyes a lot. Perfect. It kind of neutralizes red because it has a yellow tone, so it actually brightens up your eyes too. So you don't look as tired. And then we're gonna go with the lower lash line. We're gonna use the cozy one for this one. Oh, my eyes are watering. I don't know, which one? This one? It's just because my allergies, not you. Mm. So make sure you blend this. You don't want any sharp lines like anywhere. That's like the key to a harmo harmony, har harmony makeup. Harmony makeup. Har Harmonious. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Harm I don't even. To bring harmony to your makeup. That's what I was gonna say. And then we're gonna do the crackle again, which has a little bit of shimmer in it. And we're gonna do that in the outer corner, but on the underneath the lower lashes. So look up. There we go. And now we will do a black eyeliner pen pencil pencil pencil. Good thing I got you. So we're gonna do this. Um, I'm not a huge fan of 
like the liquid one. I just think this looks look better. And then I have this, um, like this, and you smudge it. Or not smudge, you blend it a bit. Nice bit on here. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then, then you set it. And then you set it with some spit. <laughs> So now, after that, we're gonna clean up a little bit here. Now, I'm gonna do some concealer. I use the Well Rested from Middle Fair Minerals. I have this that's a little um, tilted. Put some in the lid and then I clean up the space underneath the eye. It pops more. I guess they'll see that the brown line is there from the eyeshadow. You obviously don't want to go over that. I'm gonna continue with the foundation. We're gonna use Fair Minerals again today. And she's a light beige. She's kind of fair, so we're gonna make sure that we keep the same. But we're gonna do a little bit of contouring too, so she's gonna get some color. We're gonna do another concealer and we're gonna do a little bit of contouring now and highlighting. So we're gonna start with the highlight. So this is my favorite concealer of all times. This is from Estee Lauder, the Double Wear. I've talked about it before. And we're just gonna do a few here. I have a sponge. I like to wet my sponge a little bit to keep the moisture. You just like put a little bit of water on the top and then dab it. So you want to put your concealer where the sun is hitting you. So, or like the, where you want your highlight. So it's going to be like here and here and here. And then we're going to uh, do the contouring where the natural shadows would be to just make her features a little bit stronger. And I'm actually going to use, it's from Nick Nux, N-Y-X, <laughs> and the lab contours all. So we're gonna do this one. So I'm gonna use a brush for this and I'm gonna do a little bit. Make sure you don't do too much here. And then sometimes I do a little bit here. It lifts your upper lip up a little bit. And then we blend. Here we go. And then we're gonna do some moisture again. And let that sit. Next up we have bronzer. I'm gonna do the warmth from Bare Mineral as well. It doesn't have any shimmer or anything in it, which I hate in bronzers. Because if you do that all over your face, it's just gonna look like a shimmery, crazy mess. <laughs> mess. Yeah. Uh, I like to just do highlights where it's supposed to be. So I have that coming later. So this, we're just gonna do a little bit on her forehead. And we're gonna go to Beauty from Bare Minerals as well. This is a very like pinky uh, tone to it, which works great if you have more of a fair skin tone. Um, I think that if you're more tan, then peachy looks really nice, but you can go each way. We are going to do some of my favorite highlighter. It's from MAC, it's Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. This is the way it looks, shimmery and nice. 
So we're gonna do this on her cheekbones up here. This is gonna make her look like she has really high, nice cheekbones. And the bridge of her nose. Perfect. And then we're gonna do a little bit of the inside corner of her eyes. Open those eyes up. And we're gonna do some Soon. But here you can see like the glow is coming and um, when we're done with that we're going to go to lips and then we're going to finish off her eyes last. This is like the one that I pretty much always use and it's from Milani and it's number four and it usually works with everybody because it's like a very neutral tone. We're just gonna go over her lip line and make it a little bit more pronounced. Leave it like this if you don't want any shine, but we're gonna do all it today. Clarine's Natural Lip Perfector. I love this stuff. It's my go-to. Good. And now we're gonna top it all off with two coats of mascara. This is my favorite mascara. It's Better Than Sex from Too Faced. So when you put on mascara, it's one one thing uh, that you can think about is like, you want a six jacket. That way you will get the product into your lashes that the best way and it will give them that lift. So look this way. Beautiful. I mean, you're already beautiful. This is just accentuating everything that you already have. Yeah, when it comes to makeup, I don't feel like you should hide behind the makeup. Makeup is supposed to make, like, bring out what you already have. That's like a rule. It looks great. I love it. So, you see here what we've done? We kind of opened up her eyes. Um, but with a smoky eye, because sometimes I think, if you think about a smoky eye, it's kind of like, it's heavy, but this is more like light and like sexy and like bright eyed and like ready to party. Ready to party. <laughs> it's some easy steps that just uh, give you that glow and pop those eyes. And I'll see you hopefully next week. Ciao.